Hi, and welcome back to Dirt Bikes Dual Sport video series. Today, we've got the SWM RS500. This is a very unusual bike. Most people don't quite know what SWM is. If you're a student of motorcycle history, you might recognize some of the parts of this bike. It is essentially a 2006 Husqvarna TE 510. A lot has changed since then. This bike has a Makuni fuel injection system. Back then, Husqvarna was made in Italy near Varese. That factory was left dormant when KTM purchased the make. A few years later, some investors from SWM came in, purchased the factory, and basically fired up the assembly line again, making bikes that were not exactly the same, but very familiar. The SWM now has Makuni fuel injection. It's much more reinforced in various places. It has grab handles and things that Husqvarna never put on back in the old days. That makes it a slightly more street-oriented motorcycle. But the best thing is that they're able to come in using existing tooling and really keep the price down. This bike sells for $7,795. That's thousands less than Husqvarna, KTM, Beta, or even Honda. In performance, the SWM is respectable. It actually makes more power than a KTM 500. It's very responsive, very snappy off the bottom, and on top, it just keeps pulling and pulling. Where you might run up against a disadvantage against your buddies riding KTMs, Betas, and the like is weight. The bike weighs 285 pounds without fuel. You can see where a lot of that weight is. The grab handles on the rear, various guards. But nonetheless, on the trail, it's a big motorcycle. It kind of digs in. Sometimes it's hard to manage. On the plus side, the suspension is outstanding. This has KYB suspension front and rear. The brakes are Brembo. The clutch is hydraulic. It is a first-class motorcycle. All the components are top shelf. That extends to the handlebar, the chain, the sprockets, all the details. Even the tires, Michelin Enduro tires, come stock on the bike. You can use those in the dirt. They're almost as good as full knobbies, just slightly shallower knob height. In this case, however, we did swap the Michelins out for STI Tech 2 tires, which are full knobs and completely DOT legal. Might also notice this bike does have twin exhaust pipes. This is a throwback to the Husqvarna days. I think that's where Honda got their idea. It does add a little weight, but we know the Arrow makes a single exhaust system that adds performance and shaves off a few pounds. Now, we do have a few gripes. The bike is a little hard to start. The battery seems to be underpowered to turn over the big motor, and there is no Kickstarter. There's just a plug where the Kickstarter used to be when it was a Husqvarna. It even has a radiator fan to keep the engine running cool on really tight trails. Of course, the missing Kickstarter is one of those things that keeps the price low on this bike, and that is its biggest selling point. With the SWM, you get a motorcycle that really is a top-notch dual sport motorcycle. It might be a little more street oriented than some, but on the other hand, it is a well-finished package and an unbelievable bargain at that price. We're going to include it in our 2020 dual sport shootout, so keep an eye open for that. And as always, go to dirtbikemagazine.com for all the latest news and info in the dirt bike world.